fished it right at the bank. Right at the bank. And now he's got me in the bush. Hey guys, it's Willie. Want to go fishing? I know it's been a couple of weeks since I've really done anything. I had a lot of things going on. It's about the best I can tell you right now because none of it would interest you anyway. It just wouldn't. Trust me. I'm hardly interested in it myself, but I had to deal with it. So anyway, what we got going on today, man, I got a special little thing today because, you know, there's very few reel companies out there that still make a reel, um, like a reel that they made, say, 30 to 50 years ago. Uh, of course, Zebco, we all know Zebco, does that. They still make their 33s and, and all of those models that they made back from the 50s on up. And uh, there's another company, obviously, um, what I got in front of me here, Abu Garcia. Now, um, in some of my previous videos, um, I used this one here. And this is an old you know, 35 to 45 year old. I've never really looked up the actual years. Just know they're old. And a lot of the stuff you can tell, 60s and things that you could tell from the uh, the architecture, I guess you could say, of how it's made. Um, rebuilt this guy right here and love it. Absolutely love it to death. I, I'm really debating on getting another rod for it, but I love it on this old rod. So that's the rod we're using today. Uh, it's an old cherry wood rod. Now, this is exciting to me. When I found out, of course, not found out, I kind of knew, but they still made that same reel today. Today's version, the 2020 version of the Abumatic 170. And I said, man, I want one. I want, I want to see if it's got the same quality, the same feel, the same functionality and ease of fishing, I guess would be the best way to put it, um, fishing friendly, as the old one does. Because, man, you've really got to reach to top the quality of that reel right there. Uh, I just honestly could have a very elongated conversation about that reel right there. But what we're going to do today, I've already got these things rigged up, we're going to hit the spot today and take just these two guys here now this is not going to be an elongated video this is just going to be a quick review of modern technology against old school technology and just see how they compare so come on out there with me come on out to the water let's go see what we can do let's catch some fish and compare the two guys and see you know are they equals are they better are they less than better yeah we'll see See you out there. All right, here's the question. Which one of these guys do we throw first? Should we uh, give the old guy the benefit of the doubt? Let him go first? See what happens? I kind of already know how this one acts, but we'll throw him first. Put the water's up a little bit. All that rain. Now it's, to me, it's amazing how smooth uh, these, you know, I use that word a lot, smooth, 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 I say it all the time, but how, these, this old reel here anyway, is really incredible when it comes to the feel, but you really never would think that this thing is, you know, 45 plus years old, with pine needles. But then again, any of them get fine. I literally almost put that on the bank on the other side. Oh, is that a leaf? No, that's a leaf. I'm not sure if that's a leaf or a fish. If it's a fish, it's small. Just another leaf. Now I'm using two swim baits. I do have a white jig head on one. I have a teal one. Hey, I'm talking over here. I'll interrupt your feeding time. One is a white jig head, 
straight white with black eye, and this other one's kind of a chartreuse green. I have really good luck with those. What I don't have good luck with is not getting a leaf underneath my line. So we're just going to just, we're going to drop on over to where there's no leaves and stuff like that. Let's just do that and get it over with. These are doing nothing but picking them up just as fast as I reel out there. It really is amazing how I don't even want to say smooth to be honest with you, but it is. Uh, I rebuilt this reel. Uh, don't know where it came from or who owned it or how long it hadn't been used or whatever. I got it from a, a thrift store. Um, took it home, took it apart. Uh, it's typical. The old grease was in bad shape. And, but man, putting it back together, and I'm not kidding you, there's new stuff out there right now, I'm telling you, that just does not feel as good as this reel feels. So the new one is going to be hard pressed to beat the way this one feels. There's one lone goose over there honking. You know, when they all say the same thing, you got to wonder, what does it mean? Because if another goose makes that same noise, what's he saying? Is he answering? They all make the same noise. It's crazy. Well, that's a leaf. One lone leaf out there by itself. There we go. There we, oh, I got a hit. Got a darn hit and I missed him. There it is. He waited. He waited for that. Come on in here. Come on in here. Man, he's taking me out to see. How big are you? How big are you? Oh, he must have waited on that thing. I tell you, man, I have good luck with bass when it comes to that. Getting a second chance. Look at that. Heck yeah. Ooh. I don't know if you paid any attention to that, but that was barely in his mouth. Barely in his mouth. That's good with fish. Goodbye, Mr. Bass. Yeah, you're swimming kind of slow. It's a little cold out there, ain't it? I do have to say, first off, it's a lot easier to cast with this type of rod. Um, now what I have on there is a, uh, man, I can't remember the name of that bait. I think it's a culprit or storm. I can't remember, but it's a swim bait with a chartreuse and a purple flake in the middle. And uh, just figured we try a different color because I use the same thing so much here in, in my testing facility. Rod's making a little squeaky clicky thing going on in there, and I don't know why that is. Um, I do have to say that the new one doesn't reel as smoothly as the old one does. Now, that could be a line difference, because we're talking 6 pounds as opposed to 10. But it's still smooth, don't get me wrong figure what that clicking is in there but not as smooth as the old one it's a bigger reel it's actually bigger in size than the old school one but with this rod it feels really good in my hand plus i can keep this base of this rod right up against my belly up against my belly i do notice that i don't feel like this one casts as far But then again, you know, we do have a line difference too. We have a 10 pound test as opposed to the six that's on the old one. And quite honestly, I, I used the six on the other one just because it was the Cajun line and it was red. <laughs> and the reel was red, so I'm doing a little designer fishing, I guess, matching colors and stuff. I usually never catch anything over here in this spot. And I don't know why. Fish it right at the bank. Right at the bank. 
And now he's got me in a bush. He hit at the bank. At the bank. And I don't mean where you keep your money, baby. But I'm talking about right at, the, right at my feet. Come here. That was impressive, though. Because I saw him. If you get a chance, if you got any time, get you some glasses with the uh, polarized lenses because I saw that fish hit. That was really cool. And that's cool because I never catch a fish in that spot. All right, fish, thank you. So here we are, back at the old table of contents. Uh, interesting day of reviewing today. Uh, you know, sometimes in life you put things up on a pedestal and you just, before you ever put your hands on it or you ever physically see it or, or visually see it, uh, and you get your hopes up just to have the carpet torn right out from under your feet. Now that didn't really happen today, but it did happen a little bit because to talk about these two reels right here. We're going to talk about them quick. This is going to be fast. We're going to talk a little bit about the bait that I like so much. And the answer to this question, you know, old versus new. Let's see. Let's go with old first. Old, extremely nice reel, extremely smooth reel. I mean, for the technology, for the time frame, uh, I would have been tickled to death to fish with this thing every day of the week. Um long casting, smooth retrieve, operates pretty much flawlessly. So I can't say anything negative about this reel. Uh, I can say negative about the pole. I do not like this little single hand thing. There's not enough grip and too much length of rod. So it's a little weird uh, to throw to me. Even though I grew up with these things, it's still weird to throw. So I really like the reel. The reel does great. I would use this, I, as a matter of fact, I might go find me another rod, another casting rod like this, and put this on it and get it off of this thing here. And uh, I think then I would have something really fun to get out there because, man, isn't that what it's about? It's about fun. If you're not having fun, don't do it. I don't care what it is. It's not fun. Just pff, stop. Quit it. Anyway, let's talk about the new one a little bit. The new one, okay, I'm going to give uh, the benefit of the doubt that there's maybe a break-in point with this thing. Maybe the line that's on it, it came on it, is a little cheesy. And it's been on there so long, it's so coiled up. And, and maybe that's part of the <laughs> you hear when you cast it, which really annoys me. Because it sounds like a backlash on a bed caster almost every time you throw it. Or when a spinning reel gets that loop on the spool and 16 other loops come out with it. That's the way it sounds internally. Even though it wasn't doing that, it sounded that way. Um, the every so often, flink, flink, flink. And that's close to how it sounded. I didn't like that. Um, as far as the comparison of the two, the smooth trophy would go to the old one. Just a lot smoother reel. Um, I just think it's, it's a better system. Whatever the system difference is, it's better. Maybe they shouldn't have changed too much. But I'm going to take that one apart. I'm going to take that one apart just the same way I did this one. I'm going to look internally and see what's in there. Maybe grease is a difference. Um, the thickness of the line, that's a 10-pound line. We'll change that. I got an answer for that. I went to the old whale mark. you got to love whale mark. I'm going to throw that down as the answer, or an answer. A possible answer. This is some eight pound trialene extra tough. I use this on a lot of my reels. Um, so I'm gonna give that a shot. We're gonna despool that thing, put this on there, see if that changes anything. Um, so I would have to say, would I buy that reel again for 55 to $7? Not the way it operates now. No, I would not. Um, now, if I can make it better, if I can change the line, take it apart, and make it better, make it function a little better, then we'll see. So maybe, after I do that, 
I will get into uh, another quick review of what I've done to possibly modify it. Now, look, I know that you know most of the people out there fishing, you would not use these. Okay, I get it. Bait caster spinning reels, they're the wave. I understand. Um, you might even ask yourself, why is the Abomatic even still being made? Who knows? Because uh, if you put it with the Zebcos, the Zebcos are considerably cheaper than the Abomatic. But I don't know. Um, maybe it's just a nostalgia thing. I love Abu Garcia. I have always loved the reels. Um, never really had too many of the poles, but I've always loved the reels. So I am not going to throw this one out yet. We're going to work on it, mess with it, see if we can make it better, and go from there. The next thing, the baits. I uh, Let me get this open here. I, re I remembered that uh, the bait I was using, uh, the one I was telling you about, the swim bait, is actually a power bait by Berkeley. Uh, it's got those little notches cut in the back of it to make that great action. That uh, Shall I pull one out of here and let you see it? How about that? Because honestly, I don't know if I've seen these anywhere else. Might have to hit the old Bass Pro Shops. Oh no, this one's... Poor guy. What happened? Let's see if there's another one in here that might be better. Yeah, that's better. You see those little notches. Um, now, that may be a weak point if the fish grabs it. Might be able to chop it in half a little easier, but it sure does make the action a lot nicer on this bait. Not that my jawbone bait didn't work good either, because it did. It's made basically the same way, basically the same weight. But I love the color scheme on this thing. That, that green with the purple. It's almost very, oh, uh, Chrysler-ish. Barracuda Roadrunner? Charger? I don't know. I like the colors, though. They're really cool. I like them a lot. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Anyway, put those back in there. That was the bait I was using out there. It has really good action. I would give that a shot. I'm going to look these up online and see if I can find them in other colors because I really like the action here. Um, I did go to Walmart and buy some other things today, but I'm not going to show you. I am going to show you one. Um... The one eighth ounce jig heads, that's what I was using on both of these rods. And uh, I really like these Eagle Claw ones. They're kind of my, my faves. Uh, they come in that chartreuse. They come in uh, this obviously white with the red eye. They come in the black with a yellow eye. And I think red with a black eye. But, of course, Eagle Claw's been around forever. The hooks are great. Good jobs. So... There you go. There's my little quick review of these two reels. Let's hope we can make that one better. This one will obviously be better with a different rod, which we're going to do. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you again back here at Want to Go Fishing in the old Want to Go Fishing headquarters. Y'all have a good day.